Hey guys, Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. I'm here to do some more Let's Play. I'm going to be doing more of my Let's Play for the Jeopardy. But I'm not doing it on the Wii this time, I'm doing it for the DS. That's right, I'm doing my Let's Play of Jeopardy for the DS. And this is game number one of Jeopardy for the DS, so we're going to have a good time playing this, so let's do it. So yeah, I've got my data in here, so let's just go here. Single player, new game, easy, and I'm going to have to sign my name, so I'll be right back. Okay, I wrote my name now, so let's go. Oh, and this is what I look like in the DS version of Jeopardy right here. I'm with, I think that's Nick in the middle, and that's Aaron on the right. Let's see if I try to do my best here. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck. Let's start the Jeopardy. Let's see what the six categories are. Let's look at them. Everyday Italian. Busy as a beaver. I need more space. Bible belts. Historic munish. And unofficial state nicknames. I remember Busy as a Beaver on one of the games for Jeopardy for the Wii. Let's do that. Busy as a Beaver for 800. Natural enemies of the Beaver include bobcats, coyotes, and this gluten associated with Michigan. The answer is Wolverine. You got it. I see now in the Wii, so I think I'll probably know it. All right, everyday Italian for 800. This quadruped is on Cavallo. Hey, that's easy. It's horse. That's correct. I know what cavallo means, and it's horse. That sounds like it's Spanish, though. 200. For Maggio, is this dairy product? Cheese. You got it. I think I'm doing good at this. I need more space for 400. This Mattel doll became an astronaut in 1965, perhaps inspiring the young Sally Ride. G.I. Joe! What? It's not right? Are you kidding me? You piece of crap. Major ma-, ma Sorry. No, it's not. Barbie? Uh, I never use Barbies. Everyday Italian for 600. His body part is il bide. Foot. I'll pick Bible Belts for 600. In Numbers 20, after the Israelites complained, Moses smote one of these twice and water came out. That's a rock. That's correct. Alright. Mm. I need more space for 800. This TV series wasn't about the Swiss Family Robinson, but the Space Family Robinson. Fantastic Voyage? No, sorry. I think I... Sometimes I don't have a good memory, but sometimes I do. Wait. Lost in Space? What does that even have to do with it? Alright. I need more space for 600. Now available again, Quisp, which has a space alien mascot, is this type of this breakfast food. Cereal. Good. Sausage is not for breakfast, it's for dinner. Unofficial state nicknames for 400. The Switzerland of America is the highest state. Mm. Colorado? Correct. I'm doing it. Better than on the Wii. I might do the Wii version some more. Right, Bible Belts for 400. After striking down his brother in Genesis, this man said my punishment is better, I mean, it's greater than I can bear. Adam? No. Wait, Sorry. is it Jonah? I think it's Jonah, you know, because he found a whale. Oh, who's Cain? I never heard of him in the Bible. I only know Adam and Jonah. Bible belts for 200. In the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus says that if someone smiteth you here, offer also the other. Um, the mighty hand. That's not it. What? I don't really know if I know much of that. I think I know a lot about the Bible, though. Wait, you got Cheek? It. 
How is Cheek that answer? That doesn't make any sense. Unofficial state nicknames for 800. Clue Crew. Though it's called the Star Spangled Bannered State, this is its flag. That's Maryland, isn't it? My grandma and granddad live in Maryland. Uh, everyday Italian for 400. This food staple, food staple is pain. It's rice. Nope. Sorry. You piece of crap, Alex. Nope. Meat. Sorry. Well, beat it because I don't care. Bread. Correct. Everyday Italian for a thousand. This day of the week is Marte Day. That's easy. It's Tuesday. You got it. Uh, and Tuesdays are terrible. I'd much rather have Fridays. I need more space for 200. At KFC, you can lunch on chicken. At KSC, this place, you, ca you can lunch it with an astronaut. Kennedy Space Center? Wait, no. Kansas Space Center. No. Sorry. Wait, I think I was right the first time, but why did I change my answer? Seriously, I was right the first time, but then I changed my answer by accident. Bible Belts for 800. In a book named for Moses' successor, this man smites the Gibeonites, the Hebronites, and the Eglonites. Who is Abraham? No. Sorry. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Joshua? He fit the Battle of Jericho, dude! Unofficial state nicknames for 200. Seward's Icebox. Mm. Alaska. That's correct. Because Alaska has ice. Like, I'm not lying, guys. Historic Munish for 800. The Summer Olympics and Munish in this year were sadly marred by terrorism and tragedy. 1984. No. Sorry. What the heck? You got 1972? It. What? And Aaron's beating me. Bible Belt for a thousand. And judges, Samson whooped on a thousand Philistines with this part of an ass. <laughs> he said ass. <laughs> ass, 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 ass. Okay, uh, tail. Sorry. But the tail is part of an ass. How is that, how's that wrong? The jawbone it. is not part of an ass, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Busy as a beaver for 600. Of 1, 5, or 15, the rough maximum of a number of minutes a beaver can hold its breath underwater. 15. I've seen that before as well. I've seen the busy as a beaver stuff. Busy as a beaver for 200. Daily double. It's the daily double. Please enter your wager. A thousand. We'll wager a thousand. Alright. Possibly it's eyelids. That's I think I'm starting to remember all this. I hope I could catch up, though. Unofficial state nicknames for 600. The birthplace of eight presidents. Massachusetts. No, sorry. You piece of crap. Virgi Good. That's where Virginia Beach is. Maybe next time when that shows up, I'll have to click Virginia. I need more space for thousand. This 1956 film was sci-fi version of The Tempest. But Robbie the Robot was inspired by Ariel. This island Earth? Sorry. I'm starting to do terrible. I just don't know if I'm doing it good. Forbidden Planet? I never heard of that movie. Historic Munich for a thousand. In the 16th century, Munich was the center of the German phase of this movement against Protestantism. Great Schism? That's not it. Oh no, I'm broke. Counter Reformation? But that makes you lose money. Unofficial state nicknames for a thousand. The cold state and the birth state for the nation. It's not Pennsylvania. It's West Virginia. Nope. Sorry. Wait, maybe it is Pennsylvania. That's not it. I'm telling you guys, it's Pennsylvania because that's where I live. Pennsylvania. I should have answered that one. Sorry, guys. Maybe I'll get it next time. Historic Munich for 400. Munich's motto used to be die 
whatever this says, the world sitting with this. Money. That's not it. But you gotta show me the money. You're making me lose money. You're supposed to give me money, not lose money. Wait, what did he answer? I don't know what it said. You know what? Screw it. I, I don't even know what the answers are anymore. Let's just move on. Historic Munish for 200. On Munish's coat of arms, you'll find one of these religious figures who originally settled the city and gave it its name. Monk. You got it. Gotta get back into the plus side. Busy as a beaver for 400. This five letter beaver home may have separate entrances and floor. Hopefully, no elks. Lodge. That's correct. I gotta get back into positive. Busy as a beaver for a thousand. This coat of arms of this company, founded in 1670, displayed four furry beavers. Hudson Bay Company? Correct. Well, I guess I'm doing it. Now the last clue. Historic minus for 600. In 1634 and 1635, this deadly contagion dev devastated Munish, killing more than one third of its residents. Bubonic Plague? Well, I'm back into the positive side, and I'm doing good. Alright, double jeopardy. In these categories. Literature. A Nude Awakening. Amelia Earhart. It all adds up. You're in denial. And Beastly Noises. I remember literature, and you're in denial on the Wii version as well. I think I remember the name Amelia Earhart, by the way. Let's start off with literature for 800. A fi 50, 200, or 500, the one closest in the number, wait, warm P, 500? Correct. I might catch up, hopefully. You're in denial for 800. In 1902, construction was completed on the first dam of the Nile at the southern, uh, you know what, Aswan. Correct. That was the answer on the Wii version as well. Beastly noises for 400. After the hungry German shepherd gnawed on the tree, it let out a... Let out a howl. That's not it. Wait, is it growl? I don't know if it was growl. No. <sighs> that was the same answer I did. It wasn't howl, it's growl. No. Dude, it's growl, not howl. Here's the correct response. Bark? The answer was bark? That makes no sense. Amelia Earhart for 1,200. 1, in 1935, Amelia flew solo in about 18 hours from Wheeler Field to a state in Oakland, California. Um, Florida? No, sorry. You piece of crap. Give me back my money. Hawaii? Good. What? Hawaii? Beastly noises for 1,600. Playing bridge, the donkey led the four of clubs, the, and the elephant decided to trumpet. That's what that's what elephants do. They trumpet with their trunks. Literature for 400. Published in Spain of 16, 6, 1605, this classic of world literature was an instant hit. Don what? Don Quixote? Is that is that how you pronounce it? It all adds up for 800. They did double. It's the daily double. Um, your I'll wager a thousand. Let's see. Uh, three plus three is 56. 56 plus 100 is 106. Uh, that's easy. 259. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 156, and then... It's 309. That's an easy one. Correct. You're gonna give me something hard, but that was easy. Um... It all adds up for 400. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. That is... 36. Correct. These are too easy, Pat. I mean, Alex. This is not Wheel of Fortune. This is Jeopardy. But these are too easy, Alex. 
Give me something hard. Amelia Earhart for 400. Amelia's first plane was bright yellow and named for the songbird. Canaries are yellow. Correct. I've heard it from a Sesame Street video that canaries are yellow. Amelia Earhart for 800. In June 1928, Amelia became the first woman to fly across this body of water, though she was only a passenger. English Channel? That's not it. What? How's that not right? Sorry. Nope. That's correct. Atlantic Ocean. I don't know what Aaron answered though. Literature for two thousand. In a Thomas Hardy novel, Michael Henchard is the mayor of this title place. Vanity Fair. But Vanity Fair is what I know. I don't know the others. I don't know Casterbridge. I only know Vanity Fair. Literature for 1600. In his The Trial, bank of official Joseph K. is on the defensive as the accused. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. You piece of crap. What? I can't pronounce that. It's, it's two hard words. Frank, Franz Kafka? Who is he? I don't know him. Amelia Earhart for 2000. Amelia was promised her independence when she married a member of this... I don't want to read the rest of it. Palantine? Nope. Sorry. You got me on the freaking negative side. Get me back on the positive. Putnam? The answer is not Putnam. Beastly noises for 1,200. I should never have committed a crime on the farm. I knew this pig would oink. Wait, no, squeal. Correct. Pigs can oink, but they squeal when they get angry. Literature for 1,200. The title Sir Walter Scott character is torn between Rebecca and the Saxon Rowena. Ivanhoe? Correct. A nude awakening for 800. No buts about it. David Caruso, Jimmy Smith, and Dennis Franz all turned the other cheek on this cop show. Annoying Orange, this is for you because you said because it says buts, you might like this. Okay. Hill Street Blues. No, sorry. What? Get me back on the positive side. Oh, nipped blue? That's not even a show. You're in denial for Let's 2000. Clue crew. Clue crew. An ancient boat nearly 150 feet long was found in 1954 by archaeologists investigating the Great Pyramid on this Egyptian plateau. It's a Giza. Amelia Earhart for 1,600. On her last flight, Amelia Earhart took off, took off from this large island. Taiwan. No, sorry. Ugh, I just still hope I can make it to Final Jeopardy because I don't know if I'm doing good today. No. No. Sorry. Not Australia. It's New Guinea. Guinea. New Guinea. Correct. Like Guinea pig. New Guinea pig. Nude Awakening for 1200 Kathleen Turner and Jerry Hall weren't closed-minded playing Mrs. In the, in the stage version of The Graduate. Wait, no. Is it Robinson? That's correct. Like, Swiss Family Robinson. Or Meet the Robinsons. A Nude Awakening for 400 In 1953, he produced the first issue of Playboy for $10,000. Howard Hughes? But that's who, that's who it was. Hugh Hefner? You are stupid. Urine's an owl for 400. This colorful branch of the Nile River begins at Lake to Blue Nile. You got it. That's an easy one because my favorite color is blue. It all adds up for 1,200. Um... 
The answer is 1,278. That's correct. I know a lot of math, and it's, this is so easy. It all adds up for 2,000. It's 2,937. Correct. Like, seriously, this is too easy. Give me hard stuff, dude. It all adds up for 1,600. Oh, gosh. It's 400. Wait, no, it's not. It's 732. Correct. Wow. I'm starting to know all this. You're in denial for 1600. This ancient Greek historian called Egypt the gift of denial. Xenophon? Wait, then which one was it? Herodotus? Oh my god. Why is he getting a lot of money? I want to beat him. I want to beat his ass. You're in denial for 1200. Center of Egypt's rice trade, this Nile Delta City lent its name to an important translating stone. Rosetta? Good. I've gotta beat his ass. I've gotta beat his ass. Beastly noises for 800. Daily double. It's the daily double. Please enter your wager. I'm gonna wager 3,000. And this better be a good one. If the species were reversed at Thanksgiving, the birds chowing down on us would do a lot of gobbling. You got it. Because turkeys gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Beastly noises for 2,000. The J. Churchill died. It was as if the horse kept calling for nay and a whinny. Good. Because horses whinny, you know, like whinny, the poo. <laughs> get it? A new awakening for 1600. Trying to escape his teen idol image, this Partridge family star, star posted posed nude for Rolling Stone in 1972. Bobby Sherman? Nope. Then was it Donny Osmond? I think it was Donny Osmond, wasn't it? No. Oh, Sorry. I guess not. Aaron's beating me. David Good. Cassidy? You are an idiot. Ha 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 Nude awakening for 2000. His nude descending a staircase number two shocked viewers at the Armory Show. Pablo Picasso. Oh, sorry. But that's the right answer. You can't say that it's not. You got it. Who? What was his name? I don't know what his name was. 19th century offers. Um, I wager 5,000. No, not 50,000, 5,000. In 1833, a French historian said that this offer had built a cathedral as solid as the foundations of the other one. Victor Hugo. Let's take a look at the results. Better be Victor Hugo. Oh, it is Victor Hugo. I got it right. Woo! Got it right. Let's hope he doesn't beat me, though. All of us got it correct. Wait, what the? How did he get me like that? I mean, I got second place, so I'll deal with it. Anyway, guys, that's about it for game one of me playing Jeopardy for the DS. Stay tuned next time for game two, and hopefully I might win the next game. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.